What's up, TGN and Yesh Gamers? Robert the Bruce here, and oh my, what a nice looking quad bike. The only thing that would improve this is a little C4. There, there, and oh yeah, right there. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the Jihad Quad. There are some things that the Jihad Quad is, and some things that it isn't. For example, it is not politically correct. But it is totally awesome and very simple to do. Toss C4 in a vehicle, drive it towards an enemy, bail out, and detonate. Don't forget to rinse and repeat. Using C4 to turn vehicles into mobile tank busters is nothing new to the Battlefield franchise. It remains a time-honored classic that is hilarious and very effective in taking out big enemy threats. Some tanks are easy to run up in C4. They drive in crowded areas and have no Battlefield awareness. Other vehicles can be like a nasty disease that you just can't get rid of. Conventional methods don't work and you need something special. I'm going to prescribe a fast-moving car bomb as the antidote for these situations. Once you got a lot of speed up, there are usually only a few seconds where they can see you coming before your explosive payload of goodies is resting right next to them like a creepy bus passenger. Another nice benefit of C4 is that it's kind of like bacon because it goes great on everything. Jeeps, quads, dirt bikes, jet skis, skid loaders, heck, if the only thing around is an MRAP, I'll throw C4 on it. Even though it has the top speed of a sloth, I'll just keep yelling, RAMMING SPEED! over and over while I slowly creep towards the tank. It just makes it that much sweeter when it actually works. There are a few tips to pulling off a successful Jihad. First, stay off of roads as much as possible. You are a mobile bomb, so if any explosive goes off near you, it will detonate your C4, which can be really bad for your complexion. Roads often have mines, and it's just safer to avoid them. Also, bear in mind that sometimes to really pull off a successful Jihad, you have to take the long way around so that the enemy doesn't see you coming. Camping AA vehicles are a perfect example of an enemy that you might need to spend a little extra time sneaking up on. Water Jihads are also perfectly doable, but you should be aware that due to the way your soldier floats forward after you bail out, you will usually die from the explosion as well. This is the price of war. Another danger to watch out for are enemy helicopters. All it takes is one of their rockets to hit close by, and you will prematurely blow your... You know what? You get the idea. If you are being targeted, it's probably time to bail. Lastly, if you happen to be the support class, throw an ammo box on the hood of your vehicle after you've tossed your C4 on it. It will automatically reload your C4 while you're driving to your next victim. This way, if your Jihad misses or there just happens to be another enemy vehicle nearby, you are already prepared to continue the explosive party. Pulling off a Jihad or two is a guaranteed way to get some laughs on the battlefield. If you are struggling in a game, or maybe just feeling depressed because you watched Prometheus and you'll never get those two hours back. Either way, let me recommend you get into some C4 shenanigans. It always makes me feel better, and I think it'll work for you too. Thanks so much for watching. Throw your epic Jihad story in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video.